During trial, there's two pots specific medications being created right now. And I find that hysterical after all of the years of off-label experimentation with people with pots, right? Ah, you got a real bad headache. Let's give you a, let's give you a heart medication or maybe an anti-seizure, maybe anti-psychotics. We don't really know if they're going to help you, but like maybe it'll help. Maybe just, we, we're not going to discuss the possible long-term, you know, side effects from these medications. But, uh, since we really haven't put any funding into your own specific kind of medication, uh, we're just going to give you something else off label and, and just basically hope for the best. Yeah. That's what anyone with POTS this whole time has had to deal with in our system. Mm -hmm. So anyways, um, <laughs> now there's funding and now there's a focus and now there's press and now there's this attention being spent on POTS. And it's very funny. It's very funny to me, um, to see the place it's taken. And I mean, just, this couldn't highlight any deeper to anyone who's actually paid attention. This is tyranny, dude. They've had the money this whole time. They didn't care. They've now created a market in order to make money off of a product. You need a bigger market. So suddenly POTS becomes convenient. I'm now seeing other women complaining about it. And if you look at the air quality meter on the weather app, it'll tell you the air quality is fine. If you go outside or if you look on a next door or a citizen app, you're going to see fire after fire. And if you go outside, you look in the sky. Our blue skies are no longer blue. They are gray. It's almost like a smog. I tried taking my girls out for a walk the other night, like 2 a.m. when it was about 100 degrees, because obviously I cannot handle outside in the day right now. But it was different. There was a heaviness in the air. And, my, you know, my dog, my chihuahuas had her tracheal issues, so she's extra sensitive as well to the air. We don't really know. We have a lot of information pointing very strongly to a couple of ideas. But even if we have that information, the world doesn't listen, things don't get changed, doesn't matter. I'm not even in nihilist mode right now. Guys, I'm really not. It's probably the opposite which is very strange because I could have said these exact same words maybe a couple years ago or maybe five years ago, 10 years ago, and you would have heard it in a nihilistic lens. But I don't, I don't know what else to say, guys. Like, how much control do we really have over all of it? And I have been avoiding taking both dogs out, including myself, just knowing that. But the girls wanted to go on a walk. They've been in for a couple of days. Like, what, at what point do I say we can't go out, you know? So I tried to walk us around the block. Me and Abby were choking by the time we got back. I mean, seriously, like, I was... I actually was about to pass, like, I don't know if you guys, like, really know how POTS affects me, like, when it comes to the vertigo and the dizziness, but when I was a child and I didn't understand pots as much i would full out blackout pass out and the more i've gotten a hold on it i very rarely fully pass out i typically um get the spins i see stars uh i can't really focus um i usually end up on the ground uh yeah it's not a full out blackout so i'll say i started seeing stars by the time i got back and we, we really only went around a block and a half we didn't go that far it was dark and even 100 degrees in the shade i can usually handle but this was like this was brutal and like, I'm not saying anything, not all this is a conspiracy. I'm just saying like, how much do we have control over here and what is really going on? And frankly, I've seen plenty of evidence that there's, there's real reason behind a lot of the other fires that have been caused. Like I know California, um, the California fires, and um, there's just a lot of information that's leaning me towards thinking that not all natural disaster is entirely natural, but who knows with this? I'm just saying, we don't know. We funded this. We could stop funding things now, but who knows? Where did they have the money to start with, right? They acted like they didn't have it. They've incentivized illegal aliens over here with programs that were meant for the taxpaying Americans who aren't getting any of it. I had an Uber rider that was talking about, because you know, you guys, I don't like ride shares, but due to not having a car, I happen to be using ride shares right now. So I happen to have a driver who, um, he said there was going to be a blackout in, for a couple of days. Who knows, guys? We're going to find out. I don't know. I don't hold anything. I can't substantiate myself with back, you know, anecdotal and research-based information. I don't, I don't promote anything. So I'm just going to say, I don't know right now. But I do know that it definitely looks like Fed. FBI is absolutely involved with... I'm not going to say this is news, though. The only thing that's really news about it is that there's stronger evidence pointing to our suspicions, okay? I mean, very, very strong evidence. Um, like, to the point where I think even normies can pick it out and be like, well, that doesn't... Yeah, that's that's sus. So, we're going to find out. Till then, guys, I won't be back because, well, I'm going to be focusing on... <laughs> maybe fewer headaches. That would be cool. That'd be great, right? That, that'd, be, that'd be great. Um, and then getting my car back and advertising and trying to be as normal as I can be in a world that I have no longer... I've, I've, lost, I've lost my lenses on normie life, guys. But at the same time, I have to dip back into that world for a little bit and uh, do my best to keep up how I can. Minus that, though, I'm really going to be worthless uh, when it comes to the politics scene. So unless it's in my backyard, there's, there's, that's not my focus right now. Um, unless the world comes to a, a, another very distinct halt where I can't, uh, you know, where I can't keep doing what I'm trying to do to help myself, uh, physically. So good luck. I'll be back eventually. And I just wanted to leave these thoughts with you guys, especially, especially with the comparisons between BLM and January 6th protests with the normies. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you gotta really commit to that shit. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not on that level. But 
it's nice to make extra money. I just like to do it. I like to do it for fun, though. Yeah. That's when I, that's when I really oh, like that. Like, I that's cool, too. I to get interactive and do shit together. Mm. Yeah, because they got people on the internet you don't even think would hang out. <laughs> and then suddenly they're hanging out doing IRL together. Yeah. I mean, shit, I met all my friends through YouTube. My Literally. friends from my 20s and early 30s have been from YouTube. Mm. My childhood friends, I have a ton of, but they're all very different from me, and, and like, they're across the country, so, like, I have, like, three really good girlfriends in Arizona, like, three of them, but they don't go out because they all have families. So, yeah. <laughs> That's definitely just, that's certainly just. Whatever that is. <laughs> oh, that scared me. I was like, what? Did you have a pen to sell? <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to touch your dick. <laughs> what? I don't know. Stream is on. We're streaming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucking hate yourself. Why? Huh. What'd you see out there? Be yourself. Whatever. Here, here, here. Hey, did you, did you we can't talk that? about anything tonight. It will, no, yeah. We'll talk about it in like two weeks. You want a new water? Uh, well, we have some you wanted a 24 hour camera. Oh, yeah, we have sticks. Where are there for you? are on the floor. Dude. Sorry. I'm the 24 hour king, what you gonna do, pussy? Tonight was a great night. All the time. Love you, vegan, love you, Manette. Love you, vegan, love you, Manette. Aww. Thank you. I like your chat, they're nice to me. Hell yeah, they're nice sometimes. Who Thank you, that? Junk Squad. Or Junk Chunk Squad. Oh, Chunk Squad! No, Chunk Squad. Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. I think I think you missed me on Instagram before. Chunk Squad is good people. Thank you, sir. Chunk's chill. Yeah. Yeah, I love, I love, oh yeah, we bought, dude, I bought like $40 worth of steak. Just change it. It's right here. Let's do it. I'm down. Dude, that's not the game. That's not the game. Alright, that shit. I got some Slim Jims. Camera like, towards my neck. Did somebody put it inside of the shower? No. There's, dude, it's filled with trash. Yeah. Dude, the steak is literally brand new. I bought it today. It was like 50 bucks. Bro, you gotta eat that shit. Maybe it's in there. Oh, I did. Oh. No. I put it on, like, your, Sticks. um... Can someone throw it away? We asked Jacob, because he cleaned the RV earlier. Ask Jacob. Because he, he, he cleaned the RV earlier. Oh, yeah, Those you have, girls were like, sparkles all over your chest. Those girls were... I don't know. They, they, they were all a little big. I think gay. like four of them gave me their numbers. Yeah, same, 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 same. I, mean, I think the red one. They, they gave right. everyone their numbers. Yeah, they, they do. Yeah, that's, what they that's what they do. But I don't know. One, one really like asked me like, can we go on a serious date? I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Are you lying, bitch? I guess they were like obsessed. Which one? No, they're, I mean, they're playing me. I think they're playing me. Uh, they're trying to get your uh, subscribers money. Money or whatever. <laughs> Coke. I think they're trying to get Coke. They, they yes, did, they though. brought them soda. They did. I, I hooked it up. The sandwich was like fucking crazy. Yeah, that's what I did. Well, I, I gotta go the fuck out of the pop stream. Sorry. Does anyone have a towel for me? For over oh, these right bloomers? Oh. Um, it was pretty fun. So today, pretty much, uh, I set out on my stream where I was passing out uh, on the bed in the back. I was so fucking tired from the night before. What are you more concerned about? Your media. 
your your work or your family? Well, I would definitely like to have my career, but I think they're pretty much 50-50. Okay. Are you guys your family really conservative? Like no, I'm just Daddy's princess, so um, we avoid uh, disappointment in that area. Is that okay? Do you want? I am. Are you? Do you have any other sisters? I, I do. I have a big sister, and then I have. I have a little sister and they're both kind of, uh, beer, beer. Uh, let's just say I, I, he's, there's a reason that I'm in princess and the other two, um, tend to just do their own thing, so I like to keep that whole standard, you know. Yeah, 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 high standards for him. Yeah. That's cool. I think it's still left So what would, what would happen if he found out? You know what, I really don't know. I, I think he would probably not want to talk to me for a while and that would be really devastating. Oh, really? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, it was a different yeah. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen. I hope not. That's what this mask is for. Do you find this exciting? A little bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you ever done anything like this before? No. No, not ever. Thank you. What was my time to get that? A year ago. It's been a year ago? It's been a year, yes. Wow. So. Do you remember how to do it? I don't know, man. We're going to find out. Do you break? Um. This fight. I would have to say, you know, if you want to get, if you want to make someone happy, that's really all that matters. Yeah. And as long as you have that drive, yeah. you have a, I'm very goal oriented, we'll just put it that way. So if I have a goal, it's, I'm going to make it happen. Yeah, that's good. So are you a pleaser? <laughs> yeah. 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 But only if I want to be a pleaser. Oh, okay. Not if somebody's telling me I have to. Right. It's not as much fun. Then. Yeah, you seem like a, you know, you're like a caretaker kind of person. I can be, yeah. Yeah. It's not a alcohol. You got some shit? I, I would love some alcohol. Yeah. Wait, you have What's going on? I have a 5% white claw. Those are I got a white claw. Like, are there? I have the box. Wait, no, these are different. Yeah, you're out all you and your heels. I got this one. Oh, man. Probably. Where do you have that? Oh, yeah, Gucci's house. So yeah, yeah, I'm Gucci's pretty tall. Yeah, that's cool. So what do you think about that? But it's mostly alcohol, so don't worry. Um, yeah, most of them are like this little guy. This is alcohol. Which is just yeah, yeah, that is. That's cool. Yeah. 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 Y
heat. It's the heat. Yeah. The heat is underrated. The heat fucked us up, man. Usually it's nice, but it's easier out here. Mm -hmm.